Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, linear equations from graphs and a few questions associated with it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for this particular question, what we've got here is cost of the apples. That's on the y-axis. And on the x-axis, we've got weight of the apples. Um, all right, so if you look at the first question here, the graph shows below shows the well, above, should have said above, shows the relationship between the weight of apples and the cost. What does the point 43 represent? So the point 43, which is highlighted in blue there, it's there we go, 4 and 3. So that's basically saying 4 is um, the weight in kgs, which costs $3. And that's what the three actually represents there. Now, the next question is, what is the cost per kg for apples? Now, we know that uh, three it's costing $3 for four kgs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go three divided by four. And that's gonna, that should give us how much it costs per kg. So what the per kg for apples, it is going to cost dollar, not dollar, 75 cents. Uh, for a kg of apples. Now the next question it says how many kgs of apples can be purchased for four dollars fifty? So for four dollars fifty, we're simply going to go four dollars fifty divided by seventy five cents. So we can go four dollars fifty divided by seventy five cents, and that's going to give us uh, six kgs of apples that we could buy. And looking at question D, if 12 kgs of apples were purchased, how much would this cost? So we know that it's uh, 75 cents per kg. So then we can just go 12 times 0.75. And that's going to give us $9. So we're doing 12 times 0 0.75. So 12 kgs multiplied by 75 cents per kg, which means it's going to cost us $9. Now, fortunately, the graph only goes up to, uh, what is it, 6 maybe? No, I'm only going up to 7.5, so we won't be able to tell. Uh, what weight of apples could be purchased with $8.50? So we know that it costs 75 cents. So we're going to go $8.50 divided by 75 cents per kg. So 8.5 divided by 0 0.75. Now this is going to give me a decimal here and it's going to give me a recurring decimal, which is roughly 11.333 kgs. Now for this particular one, um, I think the graph was pretty straightforward because it just kind of, you know, was actually looking at um, the weight of apples. So, um, and I know in my previous one of these types of videos, we talked about when we join um, the dots to create a straight line. Now, in this particular question, weight is a continuous um, data, uh, unlike number of people. Now, when you think about number of people, that's actually discrete data, so you can't really have a value between zero and one. However, when we're dealing with weight, height, any anything that has like its continuous data, we should be able to kind of like draw the line and work out different things. So that's p part of the reason why for uh, question E there, I've actually written the answer as 11.333 kgs because it is possible to get 11.333 kgs. But if we have like a, a whole number, like number of people, then you can't really have like 11.5 um, people or 11.33 people. So yeah, that is just something to keep an eye on as you work through these types of problems. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.